quickly. The Black Ace's men are heading here, and he's in the tavern. <coughs> Johnson, in there! Head him off downstairs! You got away from me once, but you won't do it again. I tell you I'm not the Black Ace. We can settle this thing in short order. During the attack on the dam, the Black Ace was shot through the right arm. Let's have a look at that arm, Johnson. I'll have you free in a second, Davis. How did you get here? The Black Aces men brought me with them. some prisoners at the Mystery Squadron's cave for Fred and Bill when the Black Ace captured me. I knew that, Davis, but I didn't know where he had taken you. They held me at the mine until they brought me here. Did you find out anything about the Black Ace while you were there? Yes. He called his men and ordered them to attack the dam. You heard that over his radio? Yes, I was tied up on the floor right near it. Say, we'd better hurry. Why are you lying, Davis? Lying? I don't understand. You weren't at the mine because I was there and received that message over the radio myself. You were? Yes. Davis, you're the Black Ace. <laughs> Fred, are you crazy? Even if you don't believe I was held at the mine, that doesn't prove I'm the Black Ace. Possibly not. But I just found the Black Ace's outfit in your room. <gasps> it's a warning from the Black Ace. You must be mistaken about Davis. The Black Ace is still at liberty. On the contrary, it clinches the case against Davis. Every time we've received one of these mystery warnings, the Black Ace has been right in the room with us. I'll show you how he works it.
You're under arrest, Davis. Just a minute, Sheriff. No one even saw me throw the dart. It could have been anyone in this room. What about Johnson? There's been plenty of evidence to prove that he's the black ace. Yes, my actions might have looked suspicious. But I had a very good reason for everything that I did. As you all know, there's a secret passageway leading from that closet up into my room and also into Dr. Flint's office. Who built it? Martin, the former owner of the hotel, and myself. You see, we suspected Flint of having stolen the secret of a gold mine from Martin's brother. But why should you be interested in trapping Flint? Because Martin was my brother-in-law, and he and I would have inherited the mine. Now I see why Martin killed Flint. Martin didn't kill Flint. They were both murdered by Henry Davis, the black ace, who would stop at nothing to hold on to the mine which he had stolen. How did you know Mr. Davis was the black ace? Well, I first suspected him when he accused me of throwing one of his darts. Let's see your arm, Davis. What's his arm to do with the black ace? Everything, Sheriff. The black ace was shot in the right arm during the first raid on the dam. Roll up your sleeve. I admit I have a wound on my arm, but I received it when the black ace's men tried to kill me. I'm not afraid to show you. Now I'm sure that Mr. Davis is the Black Ace. I saw this chain and key on the Black Ace's arm. When? It was the day you forced the Black Ace's plane down near the construction camp. Dad and I saw the fight in the air and... He mustn't escape. Tell him in to help Cromwell. Somewhere in these bushes. Spread out, boys. Spread out. What was that noise, Frank? I didn't hear anything, miss. Looks like he got away. Maybe I can spot him from the air. Tell Dad I've taken the plane.
succeeded in working my way to the front cockpit and getting control of the plane. And ever since then, I've been on the lookout for anyone wearing a chain bracelet like that. But your story doesn't prove a thing, Miss Gray. Nearly all flyers wear a chain like this to carry their identification disc. Bill Cook's wearing one right now. You're pretty smart, Davis, but it won't work. Give me that key. We all know that the Black Ace sent orders to his men from a secret broadcasting set hidden there in this tavern. I believe that this key will unlock the secret to that radio. Watch him closely, Sheriff. Davis's room is on the other side of this panel. Now I understand how easy it was for Davis to slip in here and radio his orders to the mystery squadron. But I can't see why Hank Davis would want to do a thing like this. He was your father's right-hand man, and we thought he was our pal. That's easy. Davis was taking millions of dollars worth of gold out of that hidden mine. If the dam is ever completed, the mine would be under 50 feet of water. I can't tell you how sorry I am, Johnson, the way I've misunderstood your motives. <laughs> ah, forget it. And you can feel free to call on me for anything I can do to help you finish the dam on time. <laughs> After all, we contractors have got to stick together. <laughs> now, don't try to follow me. Dorothy's plane. We can take him in that. You'll crash if you take off without warming up the motor. I've got to risk it or I'll lose the black ace. Contact. Contact.
Well, Mr. Gray, that's the end of the Black Ace and his mystery squadron. I guess Bill and I'll be shoving off in the morning. Yeah, we'll be just in time for the air meet at El Paso. And besides, I'm almost out of jelly beans. No such thing. From now on, you boys have a job with me for life. Thanks, Mr. Gray, but I'll keep you well supplied with jelly beans, Bill. Well, that's something. How about you, Fred? I don't see how we can refuse, do you, Bill? Ha, 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 ha,